William Bill Hinnant was an American actor. His younger brother is actor and comedian Skip Hinnant. Biography Hinnant was born John F. Hinnant in Chincoteague Island, Virginia. He attended the Yale School of Drama but left after his sophomore year in 1958 to originate the role of the navigator in the Broadway play, No Time for Sergeants. He later returned to Yale University and graduated in 1959. After completing college, Hinnant appeared in the Julius Monk Review dressed to the nines. In the late 1950s and early 1960s, he appeared in few theatre roles and guest starred on various television programs, including four episodes of the CBS sitcom, Pete and Gladys. He was cast as Bruce Carter, a 26-year-old college student who lives temporarily in Westwood, Los Angeles, California, with his aunt, Gladys and her husband, insurance salesman, Pete Porter. Hinnant also appeared on the long-running CBS game show, To Tell the Truth. He was cast in the reviews, All Kinds of Giants and put it in writing in 1962 and 1963. Hinnant's most successful role came in March 1967, when he was cast as Snoopy in the off-Broadway production of Clark Gesner's You're a Good Man. Charlie Brown, after voicing the character on Gesner's 10th song concept album, Hinnant was praised as the most strikingly talented of the cast and won a Drama Desk Award for his performance. Theatre critic Stephen Susskind wrote, as in Snoopy's showstopper, Supper Time, you totally forgot the teensy scale. When Bill Hinnant leapt from atop his doghouse and went into a cakewalk, the spirit and the show soared, after, Charlie Brown. Hinnant appeared in Norman Klein's The American Hamburger League Off-Broadway in September 1969. He then appeared in the 1971 Broadway musical Frank Merriwell. When You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown was adapted for a Hallmark Hall of Fame television special in 1973. Hinnant reprised his role as Snoopy. Hinnant was the only member of the original Off-Broadway cast to reprise their role in the special, Death. Hinnant died at age 42 on February 17, 1978. He drowned while vacationing in the Dominican Republic.